Hello, how are you doing everybody? Uh, I'm Michael Garrison with Palafox Promotion and it's our job here to put your business in front of your ideal customer. It's proven fact that everyone does business with people that they know, like, and trust. So uh, I'm here today with a good friend of mine, Kellen Martin from Beer Me Delivery. We're going to get you to know, like, and trust him right now. And you're going to do a lot of business with him because he has a great service that he's providing that's very unique to the area. I don't think anyone else uh, Nobody has, else. Yeah. has anything <laughs> like this. So uh, with no further ado, my friend Kellen Martin, uh, Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, uh, I'm 26 years old. Um, started Beer Me when I was 25. Uh, me and my business partner, Drew Ruff, we were kind of uh, sitting around and we had a few beers and we didn't want to go out and get any more. So we thought of the idea of beer delivery and uh, kind of looked around on Google and saw, you know, to see if there's anybody doing it. And sure enough, there wasn't. Not in this area. Um, very far down south they are so the next day we went out and we got a, a dry erase board and that's how beer me started was on a dry erase board and sure enough four months later we had a brick and mortar store and we were uh, we were making deliveries and where is that brick and mortar store it's at the corner of palafox and fairfield that's right yeah uh very unique not only to the area, but it's a unique business in itself. Mm -hmm. This isn't something that's offered everywhere, and you think it would be. You, you know, if you deliver pizza, you order your pizza out, and they bring that to you. Why shouldn't they bring your beer to you? Uh, it saves a lot of people out on the roads. They don't want to see you out there driving around drinking and driving. So uh, yeah, get it delivered. Definitely to don't the want door. to see that. Yeah. So you know, it's a year old. Mm -hmm. Finally came, came, from, came from just out of the head, out of a, at the bottom of a beer bottle. Started as an idea, and yep. now it's a, a real thing. A real thing. You're yeah. pretty excited about that. So let's talk a little bit about what kind of regulations are there that govern your, your business. Okay. Well, you talked about uh, you know, how it should be everywhere. And you know, it's, it's just like pizza delivery. It's convenient. You know, some people shouldn't be out driving. Honestly, this idea should be everywhere. But unfortunately, a lot of states don't allow what we do. Really? Uh, yeah. So the state of Florida in itself was very, very hard um, to make this happen. Uh, There's a lot of hoops we had to jump. Yeah. A lot of things that we had to do. Um, you know, that's all intellectual property. You know, we're the first ones to do uh -huh. it, so we're kind of the only ones who figured out how to do it. Now hoarding up that little yeah. bit of secret information. <laughs> it's ours. Yeah, it's ours. Nobody okay. else. Okay. Well, you know, there's a lot of kids out there that would like to get a hold to a beer every now mm -hmm. and again, fake IDs, so on and so forth. How are you making sure that that's not taking place? Yeah, that doesn't fly with us. We, uh, we have an ID scanner yeah. that's updated. Um, I could take your ID and scan it. And it will tell me if it's real. It will tell me if you're the legal drinking age. It will tell me if that's ad the address you're at. Um, very, very up to date, you know, very new technology. So that really keeps us in the clear. And uh, obviously, if we see something wrong at the place we're delivering to, you know, we don't make it happen. So Sure. So and, and speaking on that, you know, you see a lot of time. Well, not a lot of times, but on more than one occasion where there are parents hosting a bunch of minors partying and mm -hmm. drinking. So if you see that, you're not dropping off. The right. Well, if, yeah, I see a bunch of kids running around with beer cans. That's it, an immediate red flag. And we're not going to deliver them beer. It's, it's but, pretty you, obvious. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes you wouldn't see that. But then again, you know, once we put the beer into the uh, the adult's hands, it's uh, it's there. So. so with this service, you know, once again, it's very unique. A lot of people don't understand what it is. Uh, but the most important aspect of this service that you are providing what does that look like in your mind where, where does that come in in my in my mind the most important aspect is easily um, easily the customer service we provide uh, without a doubt you know we do a lot for our customers uh, we have a lot of people that ask for different stuff that they they might not be able to get at other stores um, just being personable with people and uh, having, you know, having my customers mm -hmm. and things like that. That's the most special thing to me. And, and to expand on that a little bit, I know you order from 
everywhere. All over the world. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> so uh, we have a huge military contingent here. If you have beer that you found in Germany or uh, maybe India or Korea, anywhere, anywhere that yeah. you found your favorite beer and you want your favorite beer here, South America, it doesn't matter. Uh, anywhere that that beer might be found... You're going to seek it out, and you're going to get it delivered yeah, we'll here. Get it for you. Not only packaged, we can also get you kegs of it, and uh, we can get you the couplers that uh, that work with that keg. Uh, anything, anything, really. Yeah. So whatever your beer is, you don't have to do without. You can get it. Kellen yeah, will find it, it find it for you. Find it for you. Yeah. I'll hunt it down so, and give it to you. Not only beer, but you do wine as well. Yes. Yeah, uh, we do wine. So. How how has Pensacola, you know, how have they responded to the idea of having beer or wine delivered ice cold to their door? Yeah, so, you know, when we started, that was a complete unknown. We did not know how it was going to work. Um, we didn't know if people would respond to it, but surely enough, they have. Um, a lot of people take advantage of, of the service we offer, especially over the past week with all the horrible rain you guys have kept me out there soaking wet, but I'm okay with that. Um, you know, a lot of people ordering when it rains, you know, when it's really cold, late at night, things like that, you don't want to go out. So, you know, I'm glad people use the service. Sure. And sometimes we do get that call where uh, the individual probably shouldn't be driving anywhere. Sure. And so there's been more than one occasion you've probably stopped someone from actually getting out on the road. Yeah. Uh, endangering other people. Right. Uh, and with your service, you kept him from being out there. You right, know? absolutely. And that's, so, I'm sure that's been more than once. Yeah, so we're giving, you know, people the chance to be responsible, Yep. you know, while they're drinking. And that that's a huge thing. We advocate that very heavily here. Uh, don't drink and drive. Yeah, um, never. So you're a year old. Mm -hmm. uh, you're seeing some exponential growth right now. Yeah. Uh, what, what are we going to see... Kellen Martin, Beer Me Delivery, what are we going to see that look like in five years from now? Well, you know, we started in Pensacola, so we'd love to give back to uh -huh. Pensacola. Um, in five years, you know, hopefully you'd see us in Destin. Um, we want to expand, okay. absolutely. Uh, we have a very marketable brand, so possibly franchise. Yeah. Um, you know, the it's a limitless ceiling, so we could do anything, honestly. So your certification to do this is actually statewide. Yeah, yeah, you know, okay. it, but you know, there's also zip codes that are dry counties yep, absolutely. that you have to look out for, um, things like that. We cannot deliver to dry counties, so. And Milton, I think, just passed their new law where you can deliver to Milton yep. on Sunday now. 7.30 so. to 2.30 a.m. Okay, yep. excellent. And, and speaking of Milton, how far is it that you do deliver? I know Pensacola area. Yeah. Uh, Gulf Breeze, Navarre? Yeah, we, we actually go into Gulf Breeze. We have a 15-mile radius. Uh, we have customers that do call, and uh, they, they're a little bit past 15 miles, but we just charge a tiny bit extra for delivery fee, and uh, we get them their, their beer and wine. So, you know, we, so, can, we can work with people. So, uh, valued customers. Yes. Okay, repeat <laughs> valued customers. He mm. will expand the area just a little bit. You get so special treatment. You get special treatment, so make some big orders and order often, and mm -hmm. it's going to come to your door. Yep, right? yep. it will be Okay. There. Now, the, obviously, you're not going to deliver a beer. Right. Or, or a six pack of beer. So what what does your order minimum look like? Well, we have a, a twenty dollar minimum, okay, and a five dollar delivery fee, which isn't bad. Um, you know, you're drinking craft beer, you're going to get two, three, six packs, and you're charged five bucks. You have beer at your door for like thirty two dollars. You know, our most minimum orders come out to I think twenty two thirty on average. And so, not taking that risk of that DUI that's going to cost you, you know, yeah. tens of thousands of Even dollars. That, you know, you're saving time. You don't have to drive. You don't have to leave the place. game. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to leave <laughs> the game. So what's your most popular beer right now? Or wine, for that matter. What, what, you know, wine is... Wine has been, it's becoming huge for delivery for yeah. us. Uh, wine is getting really big. You know, we have a lot of, sometimes I show up at the house, kids are running crazy. Mom comes to the door and she's absolutely relieved that the wine is there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, most popular has to be reds. A lot of people sure. drink red wine. Sure. Uh, beer, though, this time of year, stouts 
are very, very popular stouts. People like a good dark beer, high in alcohol, great flavor. Um, it really depends on what, you know, what your preference is. But so, I'd have to say definitely stouts right now. And this is definitely a passion of yours. I've seen where you've had some uh, videos go out to where you're actually making your own uh, beers mm -hmm. and whatnot, you know, various yeah. things that you're brewing on your own. Yeah. Uh, so, and you're very astute and studied on the history of beer. Yeah. You really amazed me with some of the knowledge. I'm getting there. I'm, um, I'm studying to be a Cicerone. So, oh. Yeah. So, and exactly explain what that is. Okay. So, you have a sommelier for wine, which is like a, uh, it's a wine expert essentially. So, a Cicerone is essentially the same thing. For beer so we know beer types uh, off flavors in beer where where some beers are made uh, just all kinds of different stuff honestly it's it's a whole wealth of knowledge that you got to cram in your head <laughs> I think there's only 50 Cicerone level threes in the world really yeah it's it's a quite a and you're aspiring thing. to be 51 well level one <laughs> there's a lot of level ones out there i okay. just want to be level one for now okay we'll yeah. start somewhere yeah i actually met a uh, a guy who was a barrel master at green flash brewing company in uh, san diego california okay a uh, really awesome dude he actually started the west coast ipa out there um, he's only a cicerone level two and there's nothing he know, that he doesn't know about beer. Well, speaking of that, you know, there uh, there's several local microbreweries, breweries mm -hmm. here in the area. Uh, this is one of the beers here. Uh, I believe this one's from Fort Walton Beach. Yeah, Crocs. Um, and then you have Pensacola. Has Pensacola Bay, and then you have Gulf Coast. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> there's plenty of local breweries. Mm -hmm. You work hand-in-hand -hand with them, obviously. Yeah. Uh, if you like the local beers, Kellen can get those for you delivered to your door as well. Absolutely. Uh, and if you want some beer delivered to your door or wine ladies with the wild children, uh, <laughs> how do they contact you? What's the best way for them to be able to well, reach you? You know, it's, it's all about if you want to do it online or give us a call. Um, if you want to put your order in online and check out the inventory, that's fine. If you're a, you know, a repeat customer, you know what we have in the store, just give us a call. Okay, and that number? 850-607-7566. Uh, and the website? Uh, BeerMeDelivery.com. BeerMeDelivery.com. You can't go wrong with that. It's mm -hmm. real easy to remember. Yeah. Once again, the number is 850-607-7566. You're going to get Kellen. And the the advantage of going online to BeerMeDelivery.com is, like he said, you're going to see the inventory. And if you don't see what you want... Leave it there, yeah, and he's going to make sure that you get it. Yeah. Uh, so this is an awesome service. You don't want to get it. You don't want to miss out on this. This is something that's going to be huge in the very new future. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, and uh, also on the website, we have a request um, in our contacts, so you can email, uh, put your request in there. It will send it straight to our email. We'll get back to you within the day. It has all of our keg information. So basically, check out BeerMeDelivery.com, if not anything, just to see what it's all about. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a great website. Uh, once again, Kellen Martin with Beer Me Delivery. I'm Michael Garrison with Palafox Promotions. You have a great day.